Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Yes, you read that title right. I am doing a prop makeover. It's probably going to be a two-day thing, just the longest, or depending on the amount of time you have and or skill to do this. I'm doing a prop makeover, and what I mean by that is that I had already pre-purchased the object that I'm going to revamp. So basically, I'm um, like basically restoration-wise. I am making the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad bat, which you guys might have seen everywhere. Like I'm gonna put up here, where I have not seen the movie yet, but I did figure out what her bat actually does say, instead of the little good night script on it, other side, which I thought was a bit disturbing. And I leave a photo up here when I start doing the script for that on the bat in this video. If you guys are interested to see how my bat turned out, please keep watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with your friends. The subscribe button is down below. Social media links if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page, facebook.com slash eyeofthenightart. Uh, I will also have progress DIY photos on there. And Let's get on to it, guys. Build our bed. Well, they have our bed. That's what I'm looking for. So some materials that you're going to need for this tutorial are a bat. This would be kind of pointless to do without one. I picked up this blue one from Dollar Tree. It's super light and perfect for these kinds of makeovers. If you're using plastic like I, like I am, the most important thing to have is a base coat. Mine is Krylon Glitter Sealer. I use this on all of my Nerf guns. It's perfect. Um, it keeps the acrylic from chipping off quickly, so it always works for this. Just make sure you don't plan on handling this around kids or do other things because it will wear down quicker than usual. Uh, as I said, acrylic paint in the shades brown, white, red, a blue toned red preferably. It doesn't have to be blue and black. If you don't have some of those colors, I'll do a tutorial on how to color mix without having white and black in your arsenal. White tape. Uh, mine was just an old duct tape I had lying around and it worked perfectly even though it's supposed to be kind of like a brownish looking rope on it but I just use white for shits and giggles. Uh, paint brushes, a wide and small one because you're definitely not going to want to paint a whole bat with just a small brush and you can't really do details with a giant wide brush. A pencil for those pesky details we're going to have to do later. A red, black, and blue Sharpie. These will come into play when detailing also. You don't have to have them, but you might want to because it, it'll be difficult. <laughs> and a palette is optional, but I ended up needing it for color mixing. And reference pictures are a must, definitely. I will leave some down below, and I'll show you guys what I was using up in my tutorial video as well. And you're definitely going to need a lot of patience for this tutorial because it will test your drying patience abilities when you do this. There are certain things you can do and cannot do when you do this. So I hope you guys have all those so we can get started. So first off we are going to coat our bat with this Krylon glitter sealer. I use this on my Nerf guns and you definitely need to use this if you're doing this on some kind of plastic because it will help the acrylic paint stay way better without chipping, falling off, you know, streaking when you put the paint on. So this is a must. I would do this in a well-ventilated area, possibly outside. This takes about 20 minutes to dry on each side. This is why I said it take, it's about a two-day process just for this bat itself. So you're going to do that, and then we can get to our painting. So I was under the assumption for the longest time that Harley's bat was actually just plain out white from all these tutorials I've been seeing. But now that there's more reference photos out, I do know that her bat is actually like beige bat colored wooden colored as much sense as that made. So what we're going to do is mix our paints together and we're going to paint this beige wood color on the bat. As you can see, it took me several tries to find the correct shade that I needed through multiple shades of brown and white at the same time. And for anybody who's never worked with acrylic paint before, I would assume that you all have, because you've probably taken studio art at some point in your lives, that colors do not dry like how they seem when you guys mix them together. They can dry darker and or lighter, so you always have to watch that when you're working with paint in general. So. 
when you apply this to the bat, you're probably going to need about three or four coats depending on how dark your bat originally is and make sure when you do it you start from the top and you do not stop in the middle because you will start getting streaks and that's not good. Keep in mind you don't have to go all the way down in terms of painting the handle. Mine was kind of weirdly tall-ish and I ended up covering most of it with tape anyways. So what I'm doing with the tape is I'm ripping pieces up of it. I'm splitting them in half and then I'm splitting them in half again. So I'm wrapping them from the bottom all the way to the top and where one ends I put another one so another one begins making it almost look like a never-ending type tape technique. I can't really explain it more than that. I just, we did it all the time for hockey, so that's kind of what I'm doing almost in a sense. And this is just a really quick process. I just kind of set the tape down wherever when I'm doing this. And you just keep wrapping this until you're satisfied with the length that you really want. Out of this whole tutorial, this is probably going to be the most difficult part for those of you who aren't in the slightest artistic enough, but you still want to, you know, have that homemade touch to your props. There are stencils available, which I will link below to the patterns on this bat. Now, we have to draw those little designs on the bottom first where that black ring starts. That's a Good. I want to say it's a quarter inch above where the tape starts and then her diamonds are obviously blue and then the good night stencil is also going to be linked down below. I did this all freehand even though I didn't get a chance to film some of it but that's what your pencil is going to come in handy for for this. I'm just taking these sharpies and outlining or color coding what I need to fill in later with the paint. You don't have to do this, this is completely optional again, but we will be using these sharpies later to do the handwriting on the back of the bat. And now we can start our painting finally after all the torture we went through to get this far, but it was all worth it, I assure you. My friend is a professional prop maker and he said patience is a virtue in his workplace, definitely, whether you're a makeup artist or whatever you're doing to try to get wherever you succeed in life, you definitely need patience. It'll take you further than you think. Use a more or less a blue toned red to fill in the letters on the bat itself as well as some of the diamonds. Remember that the middle diamonds are blue so I used a mix of a dark and a bright blue color in there. And it's going to take you at least a good 20 minutes to fill these in because they're going to need two coats. Um, you don't have to use a blue toned red, it's just I think it looks better and I think it looks more movie accurate at that point. But we're going to fill this in using that small teeny tiny brush that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And if you don't want to use paint, you can fill that in with a sharpie, but please note that the sharpies will actually dry out faster, like they're harder to use on acrylic paint actually I noticed this the other day so I'm just throwing that out there now
To finish up with our final details on our bat, we are just going to put the outlines around the diamonds and the band itself and the letters as well, but we are also going to take those sharpies and do some handwriting on the back of the bat. I will leave the script of what it actually says on the back of her bat up on the screen and also in the link below for anyone who wants to go download it. So this is basically what I'm doing for the rest of the video. And if you guys want to take the Krylon color sealer or glitter sealer, whatever it's called, that I called it in the beginning, to coat it, you can. I personally don't want to look at it and be shiny. I like the matte way better. Just, it's a personal thing. You don't have to. You can if you want to, if you're not going to really be, like, using this a lot. So... That's pretty much it for this how to make this bad. I apologize for the ending portion of this video. It is like almost one o'clock in the morning here at my mom's house because I did not get to film an outro for this video uh, when I was at home. So this is what your bat should look like. As you can see, I went down a little further and I re-outlined some of my letters because they didn't quite look good enough. And this little mishap back here, I thought I could write it in the uh, paint and it ended up looking terrible. So as you can see, I went a little further down. Part of this got taken off because it was leaning up against the wall. Also because I hit my sister with that. And yeah, this is pretty much what it should look like. I mean, everyone has their own interpretation on it. Again, you can spray the little sealer over it, the pylon sealer that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. Make sure to not let this lean up against any walls, anything that could possibly damage it because it will get damaged. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And if you guys want to follow me on social media, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page links are down below. Facebook.com slash Eye of the Night Art. I will also be redoing my Harley look because it'll be more of an in-depth version. And I'll also be recreating my witch look as well as putting some new Halloween tutorials up on my channel. Uh, if you guys like this, please let me know. Leave a comment below if you guys are going as Harley Quinn this year and you decided to use my tutorial. Tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching this video. I completely appreciate it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye!